blind blind photography blind photography so this uh, this task requires uh, students to be blind in order to take photos the moment you put on those masks you can't take them off until we go back to class yeah. <laughs> It has been inspired, it is inspired by a photographer named Pete Eckert. You know, Pete Eckert uh, lost his sight when he was in his 20s. Can you imagine uh, having lived for like two decades, uh, being able to see, and then finally at the age of 20 or in your 20s, you get told that you will never be able to see again. So for this task, I'm getting students to understand what is it like to be Pete what is it like to see the world, or in this sense, not see the world, but can only see it through your senses, but also being able to take pictures? How is it to be blind? Dangerous. Dangerous? How was it to be blind? I hate it. You hate it? Yes. I feel nervous. Nervous. And scared. Nervous and scared. I'm afraid someone wants to kill me. We are able to feel something that we are not able to perceive when we are not blind. It's been fascinating. During this time, I feel like a teacher. I am a ninja, you know. I'm a ninja in the sense that, of course, I have to go around making sure that students are safe. But at the same time, I have to be like around to make sure they don't cheat. Because the world is supposed to be seen without your eyes. And there I have students who are trying to be tricky by pulling off the mask. Let me just grab the mask so I can show you. Right. So students, of course, have to wear this blindfold. Throughout the whole time, 30 minutes, uh, 40 minutes. So, you know, you have students who are trying to cheat, peeking through like this trying to look where they're going and all the time they get surprised that I'm always there to catch them. My nice wife. My nice wife, Daniel. My nice wife, Rita. My nice wife. Minus two there, Tyler. All right, Dylan. Minus three, Dylan. Minus three. Tyler. Why is Tyler? Just go to the Minus five there, Valentina. Wait, I just not. Minus five. Minus five. Minus ten, Lunetti. Minus ten. I see you there. I see you. Minus five there, Valentina. <laughs> Minus five. <laughs> Minus five. <laughs> All right. Now, I have taught you how to go back. You know what you need to do. Who's in the front? And you are touching the person in front of you for you to be able to go back. Let's get into a line. Huh? <laughs> 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 Alright. Hold here. Pause. Leave yes is missing. <laughs> It's going to be another great day for another great experience with the students and of course some pictures actually came out quite well. Some students are able to take great or better pictures blind more than when they could see with their eyes. It has been a fascinating experience and I will share everything that has been happening. All right, Melissa, so how was it? 
mm. to, to take pictures without your eyes? No. Hmm? Not good. What do you mean, not good? Uh, <coughs> I can't see and I feel like uh, a bit dizzy. Bit dizzy? Bit dizzy? Yeah. Confusing. Confusing? It's feel like. I just feel like I'm really blind, so it's really hard to to work. Okay, so what did you what did you use more? Did you have to smell stuff or did you have to use your hands more? I think uh, hands more. Hands more. To feel the wall and the stuff. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So it felt nice. It's uh, very weird and but also uh, it's very. Terrible. Terrible. But, Why was it terrible? But it's quite interesting because uh, I think use other senses to feel the world is very different from use our eyes.